Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see the scenery has changed a little and I'm back in Switzerland for two months now. I'm currently back at my regular job while I'm still using every free minute I have to work on my SAS project and also try to make some videos for you guys. And the push here is real because I have set a pretty ambitious goal for myself. I want to have the MVP of the SEO tool completely finished before I head back to Greece in the beginning of August. The dream is to spend those summer months focusing on marketing, getting the first user feedback and polishing, not coding core features anymore. It is a pretty tight deadline, but that's the target and I think it's definitely possible. But before I can even think about letting a single user onto the platform, there is one massive and crucial step I need to tackle, and that's security. I will be honest, when I first added implement security to my Jira backlog list, it felt like such a chore. It was this annoying and boring task that was getting in the way of building the really cool features I wanted to, like to work on useful API integrations to Google services for example. But a couple days ago I was working on an endpoint and realized how vulnerable this endpoint was. I think I had most security related things in mind, but I was starting to keep pushing it further down in the backlog. In doing so, the technical depth slowly started to grow on things that needed some fixing eventually. And well, the longer you're pushing things back, the bigger the to-do list of things you don't really want to do becomes, which can also affect your motivation. At least that's how it works for me. So I started reading about the most common attacks and the more I learned, the more my mind shifted. It went from being an annoying chore to a quite interesting challenge. It's like learning to solve a new kind of puzzle. You have to think like an attacker to protect your own product. And weirdly, it started to become fun. I realized that a solid and secure foundation is probably one of the most important features I can build anyways. And speaking of building secure applications, if you also want to improve your cybersecurity skills, you should definitely check out TryHackMe. They built a platform that offers you hands-on cybersecurity training that actually gets you doing the work and not just watching someone else do it. With over 4 million users, it's become the go-to platform for learning cyber skills through real practice. What I really like about it is that you're not just reading about vulnerabilities and potential attacks, you're actually exploiting them in a real and controlled environment. A lot of learning platforms are too theoretical for my taste, but here you can start to hack real machines and investigate real world attacks and learn from them. They have got structured learning paths that take you from complete beginner to job ready, which is perfect whether you're a developer wanting to build more secure apps like me, or someone looking to break into cybersecurity entirely. And the coolest part, they don't just teach you, they help you get hired. Their learning roadmap aligns with real world roles and they even offer certifications like their security analyst level 1 cert, which is built around the actual SOC simulations. It's the kind of hands-on learning experience that employers actually want to see. Plus, their career hub helps you figure out what cyber roles even exist and how to prep for interviews. So if you're interested in cybersecurity or want to level up your security skills, definitely check them out using my link below. And big thanks to TryHackMe for supporting the channel. Alright, now I want to show you the current state of the SEO app because a lot of people have been asking what exactly it is, what it can do. So I'll just show you and show you what I've been up to for the past couple of months and let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, so right here you can see the project overview of the software, it's called RankMate by the way. Here you can see all the projects you've created and of course also access the existing ones. Um, but we'll just create a new project for the sake of a demonstration. Here you can just enter all the project information about the, the project name, wait, I'll put it in English real quick. Um, yeah, exactly, the, the project name, company name, etc. because the, the software focuses on local SEO the beginning so i'll just enter a example company real quick okay so in the second step you can connect your google search console if you have one but you don't have to later we will also add a google my business integration so you can directly pull data from there um, super simple you just click connect and basically select the property you have in in google search console and after that you just connect and it pulls every date all the data from there Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's the setup of a new project. Then you can just click start project. And what the software now does is it goes onto the website you just entered. In our case, it's um, Tisto. It's a local um, e-scooter online shop we have made in the past. And um, it basically just loads in all the sitemap. Uh, I mean, the sitemap, all the little single sites that are listed on the page and just gives you a clear overview of the page. And the usage is pretty simple now. You can just select the site you're interested in and this, the site you basically want to create content for. Um, let's say 
this one, uh, this one, I don't know, this one. And then you just hit analyze. Okay, so what exactly happened here is the software went onto this exact page and crawled all the content, generated an AI summary of the content and extracted all the, the relevant keywords for this exact page. And what we can do now is basically click on here and just look at all the stuff that has been extracted. And we can see all the keywords, um, the analytics are not available now because we didn't connect any search console. Um, the site audit happens and, you know, tells you like general information about SEO problems, you know, the standard stuff basically. And the most important part is this content tab over here, but we'll get to that in the end because that's the best. Yeah, we have the keywords over here that are, this is basically an overview of all the keywords we have collected through the entire project. So not for, not for only one sitemap. So for, you just have an overview of all the keywords you have in your entire website. First, we can just load the keyword data because we want to know some more about the, the keywords itself. So for example, here the e-scooter has a very high search volume and also a high, um, pretty high competition. And you can just basically click here and say, okay, I need, I want to, I want to know more about this keyword, that one, and maybe this one and just start analyzing them. And again, in the background, the process starts now that works through all these keywords you selected. And first of all, um, gets you all the, the SERPs and the SERPs look like this. And then you can see which competitors rank for this exact keyword in your location so in your direct local area so you can directly see who is who you're actually fighting against i mean in this case it's media Markt, adac and some others the first thing we do when we when we crawl these um, competitions is immediately start crawling them as well to see what they're making better than than we at the end of the day i mean we try to figure out what do they do that we don't that makes them rank on the first spot. I'll tell you more about these other features in a different video where I'll give you a more detailed review. And yeah, after you're done with analyzing your keywords and finding which are fitting and which are not fitting for your project, um, you can go back at the sitemap you want to create content for. And this is pretty much the highlight of the entire application. Because here you can either just use our own prompt that we, we wrote for you as the user to generate your own content or you can create a completely custom prompt at the end of the day with all the variables we use. You can just reuse them in your own prompt and just basically write your own prompt here. And after that, you can also just select your model. I mean, for example, we have like the common standard models. And after you do that, the um, content generation starts and runs for one to five minutes because this now takes all the content we have from you and from your competitor and from the content that's already existing from both and we see what's already ranking well and what doesn't and try to write the perfect SEO optimized content for your special needs for this exact site of yours. All right, now the generation is complete and we can see that the content was generated and put into this little editor here and it's basically just very locally optimized SEO text that you should be able to just copy and paste into your website because you know um, the company we're talking about is Tisto and of course we're talking about electric scooters in Karlsruhe which is it which is a German city and talk about everything you can edit it here and blah blah and, and export it directly into HTML or Markdown or you know whatever you want at the end of the day but that is a pretty quick inside and what the app currently looks like what it can do and if you want to see more like like this where i show you directly what exactly i'm doing maybe even in a longer form content at some point just let me know in the comments i would be really interested in your opinion about this and yeah let's go back to the voiceover don't forget to check out try hack me with the link in the description as always thank you so much for watching and coming along this journey like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one bye